I'm not trying to build hype into it. If the game earns it, the game earns it. I'm not falling into either the jerk or the anti-jerk. I'm just trying to enjoy it for what it is. Consider this the... The Switzerlandish, the... No, is it Sweden or Switzerland? Whatever. This is the neutral cast. <laughs> um, I believe this is actually a best of three now, guys. I could be mistaken. It's the round of 32. No, hang on. No, I think this is still best of one. Let me just confirm that before I do this. Yeah, quarterfinals win best of three as we can. Cool. So, uh, let's hide that because that is no longer important. Spotting in the top left corner of the map, a man who has given up his Terran heritage, his Territage, if you will, for ESC Gaming. It is the purple Protoss! Ugh, that feels weird to say. Goody! I guess the Dragoon General now, I don't know. His opponent, though, in the top right from Heralds of Apocalypse, the pink Zerg player, Azazel. Uh, so we already got to see one PvZ matchup, we got to see the very basics of the units, but we didn't unfortunately get to see any of the advanced tech in the game. Um, some things have remained untouched, like Dark Templar are mostly the same, like I said, Star uh, Stalkers still have Blink and all these wonderful things. Zerg players still have different units, different techs, and different weird things. Like I said, Hydralisks, someone informed me earlier, are on Tier 1, I assume they were still on Tier 2. Um, Ultrasks are really tiny now, which is weird to see. You'll see that coming to play later, maybe. And, of course, the Defiler has been brought back into the game, much less the fact there's Scourges and other cool units available for Zerg players. Uh, one of the favorite things, one of my favorite things about bringing the Defiler back was, uh, of course, I can't remember the name of it, but they brought that, that terrible cloud with it that makes you basically immune to uh, ranged attacks. And I think, actually, no, they added a benefit. What is it? It's like a quarter damage, or no, half damage reduced from Splash 2 on top of that. Oh man, but it is weird seeing Goody play Protoss. But guys, it's Starbo. Have some fun with it. Do whatever works for you and have a good time. Uh, we do see the earlier Cadrian Crystal coming out here for Goody and not that quick Nexus like we saw in the previous series, but instead of Zealot coming out with, uh, you know, not, not to speak ill of Jade, but of course much better SimCity going off this time. But a couple, uh, couple of Zelts coming up here quickly. So again, it's worth noting, guys, the Chrono Boost ability still speeds things up. Yes, as you know it, but as you can see from the tooltip, at the bottom half, it makes war it's got double the effect on warp gates. It goes so much faster if you essentially try and chrono out your tier one units. <laughs> there was a new StarCraft 2 patch? No, guys, this is an individualized mod called Star Bow. Uh, it is not StarCraft 2 replacement or anything like that. This is not what new ladder is going to look like. This is just like a custom game, like in the arcade. Uh, a bit of pressure here coming onto the hatcher like this, though. A couple of circling is going to come out quickly. This is not fun for Zazzle to have to deal with, though, because, of course, for him, he's getting his queens up. He's just getting his gas. He didn't want to have to deal with this too early. But unfortunately for him, uh, he does have to deal with this. And these zealots, it's not like this was a proxy, and it's not like this is over aggressive, but um, for Goody, he should be able to take out this Nexus. There's just Lings versus zealots, guys. That much hasn't really changed in this mod. Queen coming down. Unfortunately, the queen cannot attack unless an activated ability is turned on. As you can see, it's turned red because it is enraged. And it looks really darn cool, actually. <laughs> it's got like a... What is it? it looks like an Ultralisk head kind of has been built into it. I don't know what you want to call it, but... A bit of ranged attack, but still doesn't attack for that much more is the problem. It's, it's still your basic queen unit. It just cannot automatically attack. Spinecrawler is going to come down, but I kind of wish this would go on the high ground, not the low ground, because goody zealots are already here on the low ground. Uh, looks like the queens will clean up a couple more of these zealots, and the ladies coming out should be able to save this, albeit just barely. Uh, queen Enrage is about to run out, though, so unfortunately that means the attack phase is over, and now it's just Zerglings. A uh, bit of a recall there for Goody does go off, but you guys will notice, unlike uh, recall in from the Mothership Core, it's not instantaneous as far as being able to use the units again. In fact, it's like almost 10 seconds that you have to just kind of sit there and not use them. So it's, it's not exactly the greatest defensive thing. If you want a quick mass sort of teleport type move, the Arbiter has been reintroduced to StarCraft 2. It's like a tier 3 unit, of course. It's like the most gas expensive unit in the game, but it's got like an instantaneous massive recall underneath it, and it's really cool. The Queen's so angry, much mad, very Zerg, pretty much. Uh, but coming across the map with a Zergling bit of a counterattack, there's no Dragoons out yet, and there's no Stalkers, but that's okay, because there's more than enough Zealous to deal with us, and Goody's even going to put down a cannon. And as stated before, guys, if you watch it, I hope we get the opportunity to see it. If he chrono boosts the cannon, I believe it's in the tooltip. 
Yeah, last for 12 seconds if used on a cannon, it makes it attack 50% faster. Now that's not like, oh my god, crack cannon, GG, I win. But it's at a much faster uh, rate, where it's almost like having two cannons out instead of one. Not quite, of course, because, you know, that'd be 200%, not 50%. But it's nice having that extra damage come out much quicker. Uh, now we do have Cadrian Crystal coming down on this second Nexus here, so we can open up more opportunities for Chrono Boost to go out. Chrono Boost, of course, doesn't even cost that much. I think it's like 15. Let's see, does that shine tilt it? Yeah, 15 energy now, too. So, I mean, you can use it in multitudes. But Link's coming to the front door once again. As today, there's a cannon down this time, and a Stargate coming up behind this. Goody is looking towards that sort of later tech here. Not getting stuck on his tier 1 for too long, but still going to keep harassing. Spinecrawler is down, and Spinecrawler hasn't been changed much either. It just doesn't have the bonus versus armored because it does a lot of damage versus everything. 25 per hit with some Lings, and an enraged queen should uh, have no real issue dealing with this, I feel. Macro Hatchery coming up in the main, and again, we talked about this earlier, I'll bring it up once again. Larva Injects are not the same way they used to be. You see them ticking down, and you see this weird lot of, sort of, I don't know, purple gugh coming from the top, but uh, it speeds up the right Larva spawn. It doesn't actually spawn three at a time as we know it to. Now, Hydralis, I talked about this earlier, we didn't get to see it. They do, um... Do they need the upgrade for it? I can't remember. They, they do more damage versus Armored was, like, the point. Once you get Lurker upgrades, they just destroy, like, Zealots... Dragoons doesn't really matter. And uh, for those who don't know what a Lurker is, first off, what are you, born in 2012 or something? Uh, lurkers are kind of these cool units that Hydras evolve into. It's kind of the same way Zerglings morph into Banelings, Hydras morph into Lurkers. And they're a unit that can only attack while burrowed, but incredibly good while doing so. Groove Spines is coming up to increase the range, and we actually got Corsairs coming out. Uh, this unit, of course, I, I believe it still has that small area of effect attack. Uh, I'm actually not too sure. I haven't seen them used yet in Starbo, but... Uh, we'll see if that comes into effect or not. No real clumped units here for them to worry about, though. And, of course, very, very quick and very beautiful to look at. Uh, but this is not like a Phoenix, guys. They can't grab on beam queens or anything like that. They're just kind of hunting for overlords. Coming back home, though, the sandwich from behind is going to have some zealots on the defense. So some zealots coming from the offense. But this is still a lot of Hydralis to deal with. And, of course, as we see... Oh, I didn't know that. They put the Brood War sound effect back in. That is so cool! That's the sound Hydralis made back in Brood War, guys! Oh, get that. Now get your hype on! Uh, extra cannons coming down. Chrono Boost does need to go down, but it's going to be used on the gateway instead. Dragoon going to try and hold the line, but for Goody, he's going to be forced to tap out. Way too much to deal with trying to go for those air units. What's he trying to do here? Singularity charge? Oh, it's increased the Dragoons. All right, well, plus one was a little bit too late, and good game is called either way. So Goody, unfortunately, is now out, I believe. I hope that's not going to be the case. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the best of three started earlier than anticipated. Who knows, dudes? Uh, let's see what I can get here.